Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Cedric Hood. We begin with new developments in a deadly crash killing two sisters on McKee Road. Our very own Mary Peronian went to the scene and also spoke to a family member of the victims to find out more on what happened. A few weeks ago at this very location, a car accident killed two sisters on the 99 freeway with the third one being severely injured. I spoke with a family member of the two victims who's devastated by the loss of these two girls. Jennifer Duarte, 15, and 21-year-old Karime Duarte, along with their dog Cleo, did not survive the accident. Their older sister, 23-year-old Diana Ponce, the driver of the car, was the only survivor. Today, I spoke with one of the five sisters, Sylvia Ponce, who said she was at home sleeping when she was awakened with the devastating news. According to Diana, they were delivering newspapers around 3 in the morning. That's when she says their car was being followed. She did say that she was throwing out her newspapers and she saw two cars that were that were following her. And she told my other sister who was in the passenger seat, Karima, she told her, she said, let's let's pull let's pull aside and let's see what happens and see if they continue following us. She said both drivers got out of their car and approached the girls' Honda banging on their windows. They were able to continue driving on but were being chased. The Bakersfield Police Department had said that the Honda was unable to stop at the dead end on McKee Road and traveled onto the freeway where it was then hit by a Dodge pickup truck. The Honda burst into flames. Sylvia said that her older sister Diana was unaware that her two sisters died. She was the only one in the hospital and she had no idea what had happened to my sisters. She came home last Thursday and we barely told her about what happened. My mom told her that they didn't make it, and she thought that they were in another hospital. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to raise money for the girls' funeral expenses. The investigation is still ongoing as the family hopes to find out who the drivers of the car were that followed the girls. Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News.